Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It is the weekend after Christmas, December 29th to be exact, and today I am taking down all of my Christmas decorations and cleaning all of my surfaces and then putting back up all of my everyday decor that I had to take down when we started decorating for Christmas. So my house is kind of in shambles. Some areas look really bare, other areas are really dirty and cluttered. So it is going to be a nice cleaning motivation video. Video. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit subscribe, give me the thumbs up on this video, and I hope you enjoy. So I've already started taking down all of my Christmas decorations. That's what we have over here. You really don't realize how much you actually have until it's all in one spot, because when it's dispersed throughout a house, it doesn't look like very much. But we added a lot of new stuff this year, so there's a lot more to clean and put away. Greg is currently out at the store. Target is having 50% off all of their holiday stuff, and he is picking me up some new storage bins for all of our Christmas decor. Um, they are on, they're currently on sale for $6 a piece, so he's picking me up three or four, depending on what's available, and once he gets home, I will start boxing up all of that stuff in there. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to start to clean all of the surfaces. This room is starting to look really bare because I've already removed these decorations and haven't put up the everyday ones yet. But we still have our Christmas tree up. And the mantle looks so bare. This bookshelf has been emptied. All of our tabletop stuff has been removed. It looks so empty in here, very bland. Greg got me this diffuser for Christmas, so I am diffusing right now, and I'm actually going to make my first ever Thieves cleaner. So in this packet here of Thieves, this will make four eight ounce bottles. I'm going to fill two now, one for wood cleaner and one for household cleaner. Um, again, I'm very new to this all, I don't have a lot of oils, um, but for the wood cleaner I'm going to use tangerine. These are very concentrated. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's already coming out. All right. Yikes. All right, one teaspoon. So one teaspoon and then you just fill the rest with water. And because this one's going to be used on my wood, I'm going to add olive oil and citrus essential oils. going to be a half a cup of olive oil. I didn't give myself a lot of room in here, so hopefully it works. All right, I'm going to do this over my sink. little bit of a mess. I feel like I'm a potions master. The ten drops. Okay. And that's the wood cleaner. I don't have labels for them yet, but I don't think you need it because you can clearly tell which one has the olive oil in it. And there you have it, my two household cleaners. All right, so now that the cleaners are made and Greg is still out of the store, I'm just gonna start cleaning off all of the surfaces and dusting and doing all of that stuff so that once all of the Christmas stuff is boxed up, I can bring up all of our other things. Oh, 
So this is the first time I've ever used that cleaner, as I mentioned, and my surface feels really good. This is granite, it's completely sealed, and I'm impressed. All right, so I guess you could say I'm jumping on the essential oils bandwagon like everybody else, um, but I also, I'm also gonna continue using a lot of what I usually use. Um, if you watch my cleaning videos, you know that I use a lot of seventh generation products, which I will continue to use. And just in general, um, I think if you know better, you do better. So in doing some research and having some friends that started with essential oils, I realized how much toxins are in our everyday life. And um, I'm also all about practicality, so I don't think I'm gonna be doing a full switch and ditch like immediately, um, but just to be a little more aware of what's coming in contact with our skin and what like our kids are around all the time. So you might be seeing some more essential oils or some Young Living products in some of my cleaning videos, but I will also continue to use Seventh Generation and a few of the other products that I've been using for a long time. All right, Greg is now back from the store. He picked me up three of these Christmas storage bins. These were only $6 a piece, and hopefully between these and the bins that we have downstairs, we can pack away all of these things and um, yeah, store them away for next year. So these two bins, one and two, are what held all of our Christmas decor. As you can see, there's plenty of stuff we didn't even put out this year. Um, so this one's pretty much a full. Um, and then this one, this is just all of the stuff that we put away when putting out the Christmas stuff. So this stuff will be going back out and I can then use this bin. Um, but I guess since I have these new bins, I am going to start by grouping all like items. So the soft decor, pillows, blankets, etc., will go in one bin. We can do um, fragile things like these figurines in another and kind of just go from there. Years have passed and restless legs have set a In doing this, I'm realizing that a lot of the bubble wrap and stuff that I'm going to need for some of these breakable items is used for these things. So everything, all of my everyday decor is going to need to come out before I can put away the Christmas stuff. All right, so my battery died, but while that was charging, I started just to wrap up some of these things. And as I said, I'm just going to group all like things and just start filling these new bins.
So the things that I don't have um, any more bubble wrap for, I'm just wrapping in bags like this and just kind of tetrising in, tetrising them all in so that they kind of protect each other. And Gavin's helping. the stocking also as a way to protect things. That seems to work pretty well. I don't know if this one will go any further down. There we go. boxes but I've always just stored them in the original box and it came in and I have not had any issues for the last time this year. We have two boxes of ornaments and then all of the other plastic ones just kind of tetris around it. But as you can see, it is now dark outside. So I'm just gonna end it here. We have successfully packed up all of our Christmas stuff and tomorrow we'll just be cleaning and redecorating with these items. Thank you for watching today, guys. Please do me the favor of hitting that red subscribe button. Give me the thumbs up on this video as well. And stay tuned for my very next video in which I will be redecorating my home.